This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case We're gonna do you, uh, what you want, a, a consultation that give you a turn to ask, ask some questions that you needed? Um, or a five card spread is up to you. Now you say you want to see what spirit says. I'm I'm confused. Okay, so you can do like a, a I guess a five part spread. Um, and I guess I can ask questions based on that spread. I guess. Oh no, <laughs> no, that would be that would be something totally different. So at so the way it's gonna work. Uh, you do the five card spread and each house we go through then after the spirit tell you what's going on with that house then you ask questions concerning that house till we get to number five and then that will be the end of the reading as okay. far as a consultation okay, you just ask what's ever on your mind okay so I would prefer the five card spread and then all right all right so let me shuffle these cards Yeah, I got this on record. Okay. All right. Whew. Say your first name so I can pray over the cards. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Which houses would you like? I'm fine. Which houses would you like? Uh, which one? Current, current finance or future finance? You got two of them. Just pick a pick a number one through ten. Uh, pick five numbers one through ten. Eight, Let's get started. So we're gonna go with your second house. Uh, your second house. Your second house is ruled by. Whew. Your second house is ruled by uh, Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represent your current economic affairs, current money, wealth, prosperity. In this house right here, you have the Ten of Water. Having the Ten of Water. In the upright position, it typically the spirit is saying that there's a struggle point right now when it comes to your finances, and the struggle the struggle point is saying that it's not like a, an outside struggle point. This is an internal struggle point, meaning like you're suffocating to get your money to the top. Meaning, meaning it's like you just. You just like, oh man, I could take this twenty dollars and turn it into fifty, but I just don't want to. I don't want to. I'll just take five out of it and and see what that can do. You got that energy going on. Spirit is okay. just spirit is just telling you, how about you just expand your vision, expand your vision, and when you expand your vision, you open your mind and it allow you to see to sink down to see exactly where your money. At 
emotionally where you can make the best judgment to where you place your money but right now you in this pyramid form and all the other fish is like flapping water on the skin of the other fish and all, all the fish are getting saturated you get just a small nasty taste of ugh. spirits say expand your vision drop down a little bit and then you get immerse yourself all the way in the water and see where you need to go would you like to ask this card a question Spirit, she wants direction. She wants direction. How how do she do that? Spirit said, first thing is health and healing. So you need to understand what you do. You need to start looking at what you do as a health service. You see what I'm see where I'm going with this? You're not doing beauty. You're not doing beauty regiments. You're doing health services. That's one way to get emotional attached. Spirit say, second, peace offering. You need to understand what you're what you're giving, like what you're giving, who you're giving it to. So understand your client. Third, and it says energy healing. You see where it goes? It's all about looking at this as a health issue point. If you keep looking at it as a beauty regimen, you're losing. You're just saying, uh, I. but if you know that your Sarah say T is the shit and it's going to change somebody's organs, now you're going to be a little bit more driven. So that's what they're saying. Look at it as a health thing instead of beauty. Now we're going to go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represents your communication. With Gemini in this house, take communication for what it is, information. In this house right here, you have the water element. You have the water element in the upright position. Spirit said there is something that you want to say to somebody. Uh, I mean, you really want to say to somebody, but you just won't. Somebody made you feel emotionally a bad. I, I was spirit is saying something like body shaming, or if not body shaming, uh, didn't agree with the outfit you wore. They saying it's something so petty, but it was much more to you than what they thought uh, it was. And you want to say something, but you won't. Am I making any sense to you? No. Uh, okay, Spirit. Only because I don't really, I don't really care what people say about me. So. Well, not let's let's not look at the outside. Let's look at in home, in house. Let's, yeah, this ain't got nothing to do with outside. This got something to do with in home, your immediate circle. Uh, let's say you wanted to wear an outfit and the husband said, I don't like that shit. You can't wear it. You're, it makes you look like a whore. That kind of offended you. I, I'm giving you a scenario. Mm -hmm. And spirit saying you have the water element, meaning you want to say something to them about it emotional wise, but you won't. But Spirit say it all goes back to uh, talking about the body, body shaming, or not body shaming, or outward shell, outward appearance. Yeah, I would have to really think about that. All right. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? It's emo keep in mind, water is emotion, and the element is that which of, not having right. came yet. So this is a prerequisite. So, would you want to ask this card a question? Uh, yes. So, to spirit be more specific, um, because I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Spirit, she wants you to go a little deeper. All right. So, it was something that was text to you. It was written, emailed or written to you. Again, it has to do with beauty, because uh, you got Oshun drink more water it has to do with beauty so somebody wrote something to you about your beauty probably your anatomy probably your feet it, it just think about anything dealing with your persona yours that you disagree with what somebody in your immediate circle said and what's the last one spirit and it says stay focused maybe they told you 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 wouldn't be a good model for your your product you following me 
following you. So that's what he said. You got emotional behind this, but you just refused to bring it to that person's attention. I'll have to think about that one. All right. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your third card, which is in your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economic affairs your money wealth prosperity in this house right here you have the fairies and the simps in the upside down position all right why is what you for you to have what you have going on why is spirit constantly sitting up here saying that you still can't see the value in what you're doing there's this disconnect sweetie with what you're doing that you can't see it's like you're not all the way in you not 100 percent you haven't bur burnt the bridges and spirit said if you keep doing this you're gonna lose the momentum that you're gaining no momentum because you got the magic but spirit saying you're losing momentum would you like to ask this card a question about your future money How can she juggle this stuff to get the gold balance? <laughs> oh God, spirit is so right. It says, how can you juggle this? And it says, balance career and home life. How can she juggle this spirit? You know what? There is, there is really something around you forcing you to be like this. There is something around you forcing you to be like this because your friendly neighborhood fly has been in my house for the past two days and I don't get flies. With all the food I got here, I don't get flies. Wait a minute, say that one more time? Oh, I, say, I say there's a fly that's been in my house for the past two days and I don't get flies and I have food laid out for the spirits everywhere. Nothing but this one fly has been in my house. And it's buzzing the hell out of things. Now, the spirit is saying how you can get this. They say in balanced career and home life. I think the issue is uh, that you're too busy allowing you're too busy allowing the outside entertainment to to mess up what you got. So let's uh, and let me let me be lame as here. So if you're sitting up here and you're saying, "Spirit, I want to make this happen. I want to do this. I want to do that." You're you're saying you want to do it, but then as soon as something come over, you're getting distracted. That's what spirit. Thank you, spirit. It says it's the distraction. You have to stop being distracted. So you have to stop. You have to balance the career and home life, but stop being distracted with it. You see, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. Why are you talking to me right now? The phone is chipped up. It's breaking up real bad. The phone. I ain't hear nothing you said just then. Just when I spoke to you about that fly, I ain't hear nothing you said. <laughs> That's interesting because I was talking about the fly last night. Mm -hmm. And I was 
Oh, hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. The, uh, listen, my phone is breaking up so bad while you're talking about this. This is unreal. Do me a favor. Try and try to say something now. Um, there you go. Go ahead. It, it's working now. Yeah. A fly to seek them out. And we had to put the fly in the jar. Yep. And since and ever since then we've been seeing I only see him at Lisa's house though. We've been seeing flies at her house. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting that you say that. And then since uh, since uh since I told you guys that y'all could book a reading and I do this emergency reading for you guys, a fly has been in my house for the past two days. tell you another one I'm going to go live today and I'll tell you this my neighbors next door four big black snakes tried to get in their house literally at their door trying to get inside their house and yeah, he, that's unusual. yeah he killed one but then there's three and they literally at the door trying to get in the door this man got video camera on his phone and everything. Oh my goodness. So I don't know what the hell is looking for you guys, but it made its way over here. Oh my goodness. So that's our, that's that's yeah. confirmation that these are spiritual blocks fucking with y'all money and y'all energy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a huge conversation with her. A huge because I know it's urgent, but the lady that we helped is her friend. Yeah. But she feels like, oh, I need to help her. And I told her, I said, you can't help her. We, we did everything we can do. We, we can't no longer do anything we, else because she's not listening. Yeah, leave that girl alone because y'all just y'all just involved another spiritualist into this thing. And now the, now the flies and the snakes are saying, okay, who is this? But they went over there next door to the people who, who's not saved or the people who don't have the spiritual backing because they're a bunch of drunks and winos and stuff next door to me. And I guess, in, but for a snake to literally sit up there and crawl on the doorknob and literally try to get under the door threshold, four of them, and with people walking around them, they had one mission to get in that house. Wow. Yeah. Get, that's right but that's how you get your money back that's how you get your money all right you got to stop being distracted and what's allowing you to be distracted is the evilness as you guys are trying to help so many people I, I would say cut out doing spell work for people all together at this point in the game until you get this decaying son of a bitch from around your energy and yeah and that's it all right okay all right now we're gonna go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind, what it is you think about, what it is you desire, you feel, you want. And in this house right here, you have the air element in the upside down position. So spirit saying, only thing you could think about is telling somebody where to get the fuck off at. You're thinking about putting somebody in their place. You're thinking about expressing yourself. Notice the key word. You're thinking about it. Right. You're not doing it. So, am I supposed to be expressing myself? 
Spirit, is she supposed to be expressing herself? Spirit said, mother, wife, sister, daughter. Now, this is going to get into your relationship and with the kids. Because he been wanting to say that, but I will hold it off. Uh, have you, you and hubby, have you guys had any dis disagreements that you want to, or anything you want to bring to his attention? We have disagreements about the children a lot because we have a blended family. Okay. So, so no. Spirit is saying whatever you want to say to him, you really need to just say it. Because it's heavy on your heart and it's heavy on your mind. And you can't walk around with your lips poked out all the time. No pun intended. No joking. But your lips are poked out a lot. Yes. But my other reading that I had, I was told let him tend to the children. Let him tend no. to the children? what spirit saying you got to get that shit said you got to get that you got to just say it you're the wife you're the mother you're the woman you if you can't express your opinions on something then what are you doing there don't get that poison out you so you can stop walking around with an attitude and enjoy what you got coming right now we're going to go up here to your fifth card your fifth card is in your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, what will be, what will come. And in this house right here, you have the goddess Oshun. Having Oshun in this house, she's saying, congratulations. You're going to become a more beautiful person if you do what she asks you to do. So, and she says, walk you back through it. If you look at your business as a health service instead of a beauty service, it becomes a hell of a lot more profitable for you. If you tell somebody, if you remember when I say it, it had to do with body shaming or something about an outward appearance or how shit should be done, appearance. Having a blended family is appearances, believe it or not. And they say that somebody said something that hurt you, pissed you off. Did, you know, spirit is saying, say it. They say you want to say it, but you, you haven't. Then, so, once you look at your company as a health regimen instead of beauty, then you go over here and you say what it is that's on your mind. Then you stop being distracted with your with your career and all that good stuff. Stop letting the, the outside forces distract you, trying to do spell work and all that other stuff with these outside people. Then you tell husband where you're at in your emotional bed with this. You become Oshun, you become vibrant, you become more woman, more feminine, you become more joyable. That makes a lot of sense. Would you like to ask Oshun a question? Should she give you any more offerings? He says you are seeing a situation. No, they're saying you're supposed to travel to somewhere and uh, bathe in a lake, not an ocean, a lake. She says she just wants you to uh, take a take a bath in a lake. Or do you have some lake? Do you have a lake around you? Um, like almost everywhere we go, there's, there's 
Well, do me a favor. What she's saying is, I know you ain't finna jump in a lake. It's it's damn near summertime. You got water moccasins and the snakes and everything else in Florida. Not to kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. I want you to go and grab some j gallons of lake water. Okay. Grab some gallons of lake water and things of that nature and make you make you know how to do this. Make you a spiritual bath off of genuine lake water. And she said bathe in that. Just you gotta cleanse yourself with lake water. Fresh okay. fresh water, not salt water, fresh water. And that's what she wants. Okay. How you feel about this reading? It's great. It's, it's, it's confirmation, a lot of confirmation and, and giving me direction. Everything's on point. I'm liking it. Yes. I'm liking it, man. But yeah, you yeah, make sure you let Lisa know about what happened to yeah, my neighbors. I, I, kill this damn fly now that because it's just been buzzing so oh, yeah. I, now I see it I'm finna go yeah. ahead and knock this bitch yeah, off of that the phone, so the phone keep messing up like that like, like yeah. you, said, you know the phone and I got it recorded and the phone was crackling like hell I don't know if the camera gonna pick it up, but I this fly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wow, I'm enjoying this. I, I, well, I thank you. I thank you, Lisa, for for continuously talking to me, dealing with me. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Likewise, and and keep on growing. And I and I do look at your products, man. And you 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 really you really on it. And I mean, I like the I like the commercial and like the 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 logos and all that stuff and how you just place them properly. I like all that. Keep on, keep on going with that one. Yep, thank you. And you're actually on point with looking at my business as a health and healing business because I kind of steered away from that a little bit. So I have to bring that back to the forefront more than you. So I, I totally understand that. Now I'm in the process of revamping my business also, so that makes a lot of sense. That's what I'm talking about. All right, darling. Well, I ain't got no more. Re- I ain't got no more reason. Say what now? Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. All right, now you have a great one. You too. Bye bye. Everybody, that was Goddess Glow. Uh, I want to say Goddess Glow Tarot, but that was Goddess Glow typing Goddess with a H G H, and uh, she. Uh, she's been rocking and rolling for the longest, man, and she's been doing her thing. Y'all go check out her Instagram, check out her products too. I love it. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron, telling you guys to trust the human universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you all. Soul Tribe. Let me put some Florida water on my hand before I touch on these in the car. got your cards that you selected so as you know I'm a direct energy reader don't believe in reading zodiac signs and birthdays I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun uh, since you selected the seventh house you must ask that card for a question you can skip any of the other ones okay oh, can you re- repeat that? I say since you selected the seventh house you must ask that card for a question you can skip all the other ones if you want Okay, you said I must ask the, the seventh card? Yep, you must ask the seventh house a question. If you don't have a question for that house, the reading is instantly over. Okay. Yeah, because that, that shows that when people don't got no answer, that say, spirit say uh, they don't be wanting to face the truth of the matter in a relationship. So, that's a hang up. 90% of our problems are relationship based. Friendship, family, just relationship. Alright. Alright. I've taken the liberty of shuffling your cards. Say your first name so I can pray on them. Need some, need some more to be. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. Alright. First one. Future economics, okay, looking good. Relationship, looking good. Subconscious, damn. Future, holy shit. Man, what the hell you calling me for? I see this, 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 this the BS, mister. <laughs> the BS all right let's get into it all right so we're gonna start with your first card which is in your sixth house your sixth house is ruled oh boy look at that door your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury your sixth house represents your future economics future money wealth prosperity and this house right here you have Shango You have Shango in this house. All right. Shango. Shango. Shango Lightning. Now, what Shango is telling me, man, and it's kind of weird. You just started. 
you just recently started advertising. He's saying some shit like you just recently started advertising. You just recently jumped off the porch. You actually took a stand for what the hell you wanted and it's working for you. Mm. What you advertising on? Um, about life and, and, and direction on, on places I want to be in life. Okay, so you so you promoting that. You're telling everybody, speaking on it. Just throwing it in the universe. You, 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 yeah, you, you own the sun, yeah. I've been telling my family about that. We're trying to open up some businesses right now. All right, well, Shango said this is all he needed from your ass. You got it. So now who, I keep saying who is a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries? Hold on, can you say that one more time? Who, who, is the, who has the fire sign for the Zodiac? The fire sign? Yeah, uh, somebody, somebody around you is a fire sign. I want to say, uh, 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 he keeps saying Aries, but I want to say a Leo or Sagittarius. So you got a Leo around you? Um, far distance, but I talk, I speak to this person every day. Okay. Pay attention to what this person is saying. They got great advice. Mm, mm, mm. That's what he said. He said, tell him to fire. He said, tell him the, the, the person who bring the fire got good advice. So I have to get that with the fire sign. But yeah, the, the Leo got great advice. You, you're not wrong. Would you like to ask him a question? Um, no, no. Damn right. All right. Here go another good card. Now we're going to go over to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony. Look, I'm going I'm to add love, romance, and passion. In this house right here, you have the three of air in the upside down position. Either you just pick the good, the perfect mate, or you start telling somebody the truth. Because spirits say there is no, there is no deception when it comes to your relationship sector. What's going on with that? Boy, could you, you, you either find you a Christian nun that ain't never came down to the damn church to experience nothing, nothing but you just start telling the truth and you start hooking it on but some ain't no deception going on yes and it's actually that is actually occurring and everything you know and uh the changes that i'm making you know a person as you know my 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 the, the person i'm with right now actually following that direction you know Damn. so it, it's coming along it is but wow, that's what i like all right would you like to ask this call the question no, no, no. No, it's the, it's the seventh house. I can't let you get away. Got to ask a question about something. Oh, just okay. Uh, but I can still ask the seventh card, right? Yeah, this is the seventh. This is the seventh card right here. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna ask you this spirit. What sign is this person? What, what is it the sign? Let me see. Spirit, what sign is this person? You gonna give it to him? Balance career and home life. What you mean? Balance career and home life. I, I, they keep saying like an air sign, Libra. I want to say that, but Spirit, what sign is this person? Uh, teacher, educate, offer. Okay. And it's a right. It's a writing thing. God damn, man. It's like this person, they they won't give a zodiac sign, but you talk about you talk to this person about your business. This person is really in your business. Like really. And then it says you got uh offer teacher that like they give you good advice as well. And then they say it right. This means you communicate with them over distance. So I don't, they won't give me a zodiac sign, but I keep saying air, but they keep saying, cause this is the three of air. They just keep saying communication. 
So let's say this Leo person is far distance and you're talking to him about business and it happened to be what you go for, then that's that that's it. But uh somebody telling you the truth when it comes to a relationship. Damn, that's not bad. I told man, I don't know if you hit the jackpot or what, but man, whoa! All right, let's go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind, what it is you think about, what it is you desire, what it is you, what it is you just remember. In this house right here, you have Zapana. You have Zapana. In this house, and what's upon? So let me tell you what Zapana does. Zapana heals. Zapana, but Zapana heals the spirit. He grows you up from from immature to mature. He's that. If you when you go into the next stage in your life, you know you have to die three times before you become the person you really want to be in life. That's that's him. He's the one that bury you and resurrect you. In your eighth house of subconscious mind. What you really desire is to be a better person, a stronger person, a more intellectual person. And he say he there for it. He got your back. Oh, my goodness, man. That was, if that wasn't the, the, the nail in the coffin right there, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm looking at the rest of this reading, man, and it does nothing but get better. <laughs> that, that's why I say, why did you call me? Yeah, just, just sit back and watch Netflix and chill, and you got it. Would you like? Would you like to ask the partner a question? No, not no, no, no. I'm good on that. All right, now we finna go over here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represent your future, your reality, what will be, what will come to you. In this house right here, you have Oshimare. Having Oshimare, 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 however you want to call it. Can I say you're going to open your mouth and glory going to come to you? You're going to be able to sweet talk, charm, make deals, get everything you ever asked for, basically. Only thing, listen, he say, only thing you have to do is say it with a smile. Mm -hmm. I, uh, nah, nah, I don't know what they said. They said, he's saying, make sure your teeth is on point. So you're going to get a lot more. If, if so you're going to get a lot more if you make sure the tooth is on, the teeth is on point. Cause you got a lot of talking coming up. You said I got a lot of what coming up? You got a lot of communicating, a lot of talking coming up to which you need to be the victor in all these. And that smile of yours is gonna be everything. He say make sure you take care of your teeth. Mm -hmm. If you gotta go get a couple gold caps, crowns, I would really consider it because you're not destined to be a poor man. <laughs> what? <laughs> because you, you gave me stuff on the middle. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh, you had already thought about hitting up the dentist? I don't wanna cut you off, but I'm gonna just say this because you hit that right on the nail. And a couple more things that you, you was on the point of two, but you had, I got a chip tooth, and I wanted, I've been wanting to get it fixed, and I've been. Trying to see what's up with my insurance, but anyway, go ahead, man. You on play? Go ahead. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> exactly. would, would you like to? Would you like to ask this card a question? Yes. Uh, I'm on the know. Uh, I'm gonna ask the spirit. This card was pertaining to what again one more time? This is your future, how you gotta be interacting with people, contracting, smiling in their face, uh just getting what you want. You ask for it, they're gonna give it to you. You 
You tell him, you, his, uh, Ocean Mary say, only thing you have to do is say this, ask for what you want with a smile. And that's why you say, make sure your smile is going to be on point. So get the two, get the chip tooth fixed, like you say. But uh, anything you want to ask him? Yes, I want to ask, want the spirit to ask, in the future, do they see me um, revolving and growing with my kids? As in physical, physical. Okay. Spirit. Do you see him growing and evolving with the kids? Becoming a unit again. Artistic expression. Stay focused. Mm -mm -mm. God is good. Artistic expression. Stay focused and go now. Spirit say you need to be real creative when it comes to these children. And I think you need to do something like uh, start sending pictures, text messages. Or, or or support them with picture taking artwork or something like that. And that's that's kind of crazy too because today when I was sending some pictures off, I haven't took none of the pictures of my kids, but they take the pictures. Man, it's good. Go on, go on, do what you do, man. Thank you. <laughs> 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 All right. Now we're finna go up here to your now we're finna go up here to your your ninth your tenth I mean your tenth house. Your tenth house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by Saturn. Your tenth house represent your how everybody will see you. How your kids, your friends, your business partner, no matter who, this is outside looking in. In this house right here you have the salamanders in the upright position. This shows me a lizard, a fiery salamander lizard. I don't know. I think they amphibious. Shows me a lizard on a rock talking, laughing, telling people where to get off at, preaching the word. You know, spirits say everybody's gonna see you as that beacon of change. They're gonna be like, if he did, if he can do it, she can do it. I can do it. Uh, you know, if he changed her life and if she changed shit, I can do it. Go ahead. You just, you just, you hitting everything right on it? You right on the dot, man. You right on the dot. Oh my goodness. Get finished, man. I'm, you know, I, I don't want to say two words. Two words. <laughs> <laughs> Old school. You're old school, lad. Get finished, man. <laughs> I don't know that. I really want to get you on it, man, but, you know. My, my, my granddaddy used to say that. Get finished, boy. <laughs> I love it. All right, but yeah, uh, they say, man, people got to be admiring the hell out of you. They ain't like, if, if you can do it, I, if he can do it, she can do it, I can do it. If they can do it, I can do it. Look how he changed them kids. If they can do it, I can do it. It's going to be that type of thing. So people going to look at you as a beacon of achievement. Yep, that's it. Would you like to ask this card a question? And I'm so, somebody... Um, you know, told me about you, man. I'm so happy this person did it and everything. I can't, I don't know how a person can come and use some things. It's a spirit, it's a spirit. I believe it's spirits. And so that spirit, man, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. All right. All right. So you ain't got no question for the 10th house, or you good? The 10th house, this was, um, my, uh, um, how everybody going to see you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. This is the last question anyway, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, will past, will past situations hinder the way people view me? Spirit, will, will his past be washed away with this newfound uh, reverie that people are gonna see him as will will the past be hidden gone that it will it hinder him spirit say see the other person's point of view no see the other person's point of view that that was so what spirit said don't you worry about your past because nobody else will they say see the other person's point of view only thing you need to look at if somebody walk up to you and say oh you're a blessing to the community don't be like, well, I did a stint, I did a dime in the joint. Don't say that shit. Don't come off and don't say, well, you know, I learned from being in. Just say, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm going to do my best to stay here. You got me? Amen. Yeah. Yes, 
Let me put. Let me throw another one. Uh, will his pass hand the ammo? Uh, uh, it said release tension. Will with the pass? It said clear and shield your energy. All right now. Don't worry about the pass. You good. All right, that was your reading. How you like it? Oh man, it was, it was man, it was better than I even thought I could imagine, man. It was better than I even imagined. <laughs> I'm going I'm just gonna say here, with all this money you got coming in, loan me a dollar. <laughs> hell, know what? Better yet, say a prayer for me, cause you got it. Oh, uh, yes sir, yes sir. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the spirits, man. That I pray to. I, I pray to a higher power. So, yes, I believe. I love it. Damn, and this I is man. this is a beautiful read, man. You you are one of the blessed ones. I can say that. I you one of the blessed ones. My spirits over here laughing. They overjoyed for you. They clapping their hands. <laughs> Well, only thing, only thing they keep reminding me. They say take the thing and get that tooth fixed. They say you, you, they say that is heavily dependent on how you make your deals, contracts, or how you get in people's face. Even if you're gonna start doing advertising on YouTube or talking in podcasts or whatever, make sure you go ahead and get your mouth done because. That's the only thing holding you back. Self-conscious on that. That's the only thing. Other than that, man, I don't see why you can't be sitting up there running things. Okay, man. I thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. You have a good one. And if you need to reach me, you know how. Yes, sir. And I appreciate it, man. You have a blessed day, man. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, everybody. That was a quick one, but a lovely one. A beautiful reading. I can't I can't believe this happened like that. This this brother here, man, wow. Things are working out, things are going for him, and I mean it's like wow. I ain't got nothing else to say. Positive comments below everybody. Y'all know how we do it. If you ain't hit that like button, how about you do it? Alright everybody, I'm the Baron. Telling you guys to trust the UN universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Take care. God bless. Much love. Soul tribe.